Welcome to my apartment tour. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, also known as Taylor with an E. And today we are going to take a tour of my apartment here in Incheon, South Korea. Because, you know, I thought after three years living here, it was about time I made a video like this for you guys. So, as you guys probably know, I'm an Epic teacher here in South Korea. So that means I get rent-free housing provided by my school. And this is actually my third Epic apartment. I just moved to Incheon and then I had two other apartments in Daegu. But I have to say, this is definitely the nicest apartment I've had living here. So that's definitely like one of the things I want to touch on with you guys before we get started, is that if you're thinking about becoming an Epic teacher, and as you're probably watching a lot of these apartment tour videos, just know that it's super random what type of an apartment you will get here in Korea. Some people get super nice apartments, some people get not so nice apartments, some people fall somewhere in between, it's really up to your school and what's available at that time. But yeah, so that's all I really wanted to say. So now let's go take a look at my new apartment. in my apartment. As you can see, I actually do not need a key for my door. There's no electric keypad on my door where I can input my code and that will unlock the door. And then to the left of my door, this is my doorbell. And so when I have packages delivered, if someone comes to visit me, all people have to do is press this button and I will see their face on the screen inside to let me know who is there. So with that, let's go on in. So first when we walk into my apartment, we have this entranceway. So in Korea, you always take off your shoes before entering into your space. So that's why we have this little area here. So then on my left, you can see my shoe closet. And it's really nice because I have a lot of space to put my shoes. I even have some hangers here to put my coat on. I have a space for my umbrella gloves, um, I have some extra cleaning supplies here, and then even some extra shelves where I can put extra towels, blankets, some hats, purses, then anything else I can throw in there. So it's a nice little storage space that we have here. Also what's kind of cool here is I have this little panel on the side that has a little home icon, and so when I'm about to leave my apartment, if I just press that button, all the lights and electronics in my apartment turn off, which kind of saves me time on the way out than turning off all the lights or if I forget something. It just does all of that for you. So it's a good way to save energy here. So go ahead and take off my shoes, put on my slippers here. All right, so then once walking into my apartment, right on the left, we have my bathroom. So first when walking into the bathroom, I have my bathroom slippers that I put on, which is also very common in Korea. So then right in front of me, you can see this mirror, which also is my medicine cabinet where I just have some stuff, which is pretty nice for extra storage right above the toilet. And then over here, this is my shower area. Now the apartments I had before, this was basically all one area. I didn't have this divider or anything. So everything in my bathroom would basically get wet, which is also very common in Korea. But here you can see I have a rain shower up here and another shower head that detaches, which is pretty cool. Also in my bathroom, the sink is in the shower area, which you may find that is kind of weird, but all of this is connected. So I can basically control my shower heads from this little nozzle here. So if I want a sink, or I might turn that on, but if I turn that, the shower will work as well. So that's why the sink is in the shower area. Then we're gonna make our way over here to the other side of my bathroom. Here, this is where I have my washing machine. Now what's cool about this is that it is also a dryer. So I really like how in Korea, because these apartments are so small, how they find ways to save space. The only unfortunate thing about that is if you do want to dry your clothes, it takes so much longer. Like it could take maybe up to six or seven hours both to wash and dry your clothes. 
So if I don't feel like going through all that, I also have this drying rack up here where I can hang my clothes, my towels, and anything like that. Oops. So, and actually in a lot of office towels, you will see the washing machine in the kitchen. What I like about having it in the bathroom is that not only does it save me kitchen cabinet space, which is really nice, but it also allows me another surface area in the bathroom to put my stuff. All right, so coming out of the bathroom area, that's where I have my closet space. So right in front of me, you can see I have a nice and tall floor length mirror, which is so nice. So then if you open this mirror up, you actually have some closet space. So I use this as a coat closet as well as put some sweatshirts and things that wouldn't fit in my main closet. So then to the right of my mirror is where I have my main closet here. So as you can see, this is where I put most of my clothes. So down here I have some drawer space and that's where I keep like my t-shirts and stuff that's easily foldable. And then I fold my pants and put them on the shelf here, hanging clothes here. And then up here is just some extra storage where I put all my spring and summer clothes since they all can't fit in the closet. All right, so then moving right on down the hallway, here I have some extra cabinet space. This is where I just keep some medical supplies and stuff like that. Down here is where I just have some extra food storage containers. And then I kind of set up my vanity slash makeup area right here because it's in so close proximity to this wonderful full length mirror. It's very easy for me to just pick up my makeup there and then do it in the mirror here. All right, so then moving right along, we get into my kitchen area in the apartment. So starting up here in this cabinet is where I have just extra cleaning supplies, some toilet paper, some trash bags. So here we have a microwave and I also have a toaster oven because actually you won't find ovens too commonly in apartments in Korea so I decided to buy this little one to make toast and other things and then right below my toaster oven is where I have my mini rice cooker because that's also very handy to have here all right so then next to my microwave and toaster oven is where my refrigerator is so I don't have too much in there right now I have to go grocery shopping but just to, so you guys have a look at what that looks like and then right below my fridge is where the freezer is and these pull out as drawers so I really like how big my fridge is. It's definitely one of the bigger ones I've had here in Korea. And I really just like how it blends in with all the rest of the cabinets along this wall. So then coming this way, this is where we get to my main kitchen area. And as you can see, it's not too big, but it's not too small either. This is definitely, one of, again, one of the bigger kitchens I've had here. So here above the sink is where I put all my dishes and things. I don't have too many, as you can see. And then to the right this is where I keep my spices and some rice and some pasta and things like that. And then coming down here, this is my stove area. I actually have an electric two burner stove. And if I pull this out, that's my fan and my light. And then we have the sink and the drying rack, which is so nice. I've never had a drying rack before, but it's super useful because the dishes dry really quickly. And it's nice just to wash them and then just put them away here. So one thing I forgot to mention when I was shooting this video before, I do have this light above my drying rack. So that's a nice extra added light to the kitchen. And there's an extra outlet here. So since my microwave and my toaster oven take up all the outlets in the cabinet, all I have to do is take my little rice cooker here, bring it up to my counter, and I would just plug it in up here like so. And my rice cooker would be ready to use. It's so convenient. And then coming down here, this is where I have my extra cabinet space. So I use this mostly as a pantry area under the stove here. And then under the sink is where I keep my trash and my food trash. We have like a knife holder and then some hooks here where I keep my cutting boards. 
And then in this cabinet is where I keep my pots and pans and things. So coming over here right by my kitchen is where I have these lovely control systems. So this one is the control panel for my apartment where as you saw before I can see who's outside my door and unlock my front door or even unlock the doors by the elevator downstairs. Here is the panel for the air filtration system in my apartment. This is how I control the floor heating system. This is the air conditioning, and then these obviously are the lights for my kitchen. So right here I just have a little TV tray that I use, you know, whenever I'm watching TV on my bed and have some food that I'm eating. And then right here, this is actually a floor mat, which are very common in Korea where people can sleep. So what I use for this is, as you can see, there's a nice big space here that I haven't really been using. So I actually can lay the floor mat down here and then that actually acts as kind of like an extra bed if anyone visits me and stays over. So then kind of finishing up this area, I just have some other, you know, storage space here, which is really nice. So much storage in this apartment. Coming over here, this is where I keep my recycling because in Korea they are huge on recycling, which I think is pretty cool, but I do have to organize it very efficiently. But this is nice because it also acts as a bag. So when I need to bring my recycling downstairs, all I have to do is pick this up, walk out the door, and then go put my recycling away. So then coming over this way, we have finally made it to the bedroom area of my apartment. So starting with my desk here, which I kind of use as an entertainment center as well. So down here, this is where I keep my laundry hamper, as well as an ottoman, which also acts as more storage. Then here we have my TV, my Wi-Fi, and of course my Nintendo Switch. And then up here on these shelves is where I keep a lot of my souvenirs that I've collected as I've gone to some countries over the years. So this is actually my favorite shelf here because it's where I keep all my Disney ears. I've actually visited every Disney park in Asia. So in each park that I've been to, I wanted to buy a pair of ears to remember them by. Okay, so then moving right across from my desk, this is where we have my bed area, which is probably my favorite part of the apartment just because it faces these nice, huge windows, which I absolutely love. Then, as an added bonus, if you look right below here, I have some extra storage space, which I definitely make use of. And then finally, you might be wondering what this magic door is. Well, to let you know, it's nothing special. I just have electrical equipment in there that probably controls my heating, but I do use it as some extra space where I store my luggage. So guys, that is pretty much all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this apartment tour video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. If you have a question for me, please leave a comment below. And I hope you guys have an amazing, wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Bye!